All right, this week on Real South Hunting, the old man finally gets in on the show. Uh, hadn't killed the most deer this year, but I'm gonna make a start this week, and uh, maybe y'all will be seeing a little more. We got Mama Nan in there on her first ever buck kill. We got Miss Carrie in there on a nice buck kill. And we got Turbo getting a nice eight point. So man, we got an action-packed show for you. Y'all sit back and enjoy. I'm in the camp. They come back from the morning hunt. My dad saw a couple small bucks, nothing really good to shoot. And they come in there, bust open the door, I'm still asleep on the couch. They start shaking me, waking me up. My dad tells me that I need to go to the stand. It's the middle of the rut, bucks are moving everywhere. It's 10 a.m., I'm just ready to get in the stand. So as soon as he steps foot in the plot, I didn't even think to check and look at the camera. I bust him, but sadly, the camera wasn't on him. Well, my hunt's over. <laughs> Trent just shot a buck. He said a big, a heavy eight, narrow heavy eight. So we're fixing to go see what he got. It's chilly day in Mississippi today, and I just smoked a eight point. We're heading over to where I had just shot him. I saw him come down through the woods over there, come up to the feeder, and I just popped him. He come from across the road? Yeah. No kidding. Across the road. Huh. They get fall right down here? They fell somewhere right here in the road. <clears throat> okay. Don't, don't you fall now. Oh, there he is. I see the deer. Oh, gosh. Look at you, Turbo. You're gonna kill two more. That's something that is heavy on it. Ten point. Ten point. You sure you count right? Yeah, it's got two little pieces right here. Probably nine point. Nine point? Yeah. All right. Pull them up for everyone and get a good look at them. Oh man, what have you done, Turbo? Okay. He, he done shot a hammer, Daddy. He shot a hammer. That's the one I had pictures of. Yeah. It didn't look that heavy in them pictures you had of it. We ain't seen him in a long time though, have we? No, we ain't. We ain't seen him in a while. All right, Turbo. If you can, I'm gonna film you getting him up this hill. I can't get up that hill, it's too heavy. You ain't even trying. Jeez, that's straight up, Trent. Oh, he's in Death Valley coming out of Death Valley, boys. <laughs> I'm here if he falls, I'll catch him. I'm not the best to run the camera, but there is one thing that I can do. Put the smack down on the deer. All right, it's January 9th, middle of the rut here in Alabama. I had a really good deer on camera all summer in velvet and never got any after come bow season, he disappeared. 
Well guys, here we are, headed out on our evening hunt. It is January 9th, and it is smack dab in the middle of the rut here in Alabama. I get out there and I climb in my stand. The wind's blowing like crazy. And by the time I'm set up and ready, it's probably close to three o'clock. I rattle and I grunt and I put some deer pee out and I didn't have a pee willy wick. So I just spray out deer pee throughout, just around my stand and I've got leaves around me and I'm rustling some leaves and breaking limbs thinking it's gonna bring me a buck in. Find where I made the shots so and I see that not only did I hit this deer, but he couldn't have gone far. So I call my husband and I'm like, look, this has got to be a dead deer. Oh, there's no doubt. There's not even a second dead. There's no doubt. <laughs> All I see is antlers. So have you ever seen a deer and watched it on camera and then you see it in person and it's like your emotions take go crazy? Well, that's what happened to me. When I finally seen that I killed this deer, I was tore up. I'm talking, I, I, I killed a lot of cool things and this deer had me in my feelings. I know my wife is Nan. Mama Nan, as everybody knows her, she's never hunted a lot. This year, she said, I think I'm gonna hunt some. She said, I'm hunting the river. I said, okay, no problem. So, so I leave and I'm over there on the stand. I ain't seeing nothing. I get the text, big buck down. Get there, meet her. She's all excited, can't even talk. And uh, get out there and I look and it's just very little, no blood. What happened? Hey, Everything good, how about y'all? Yeah, yeah. Sound like you got them loaded up, ready. Ready to go. Oh, really? You ready to go see? Right. Yeah. Alright. He buried up there, didn't he? He did. Can't even help you get him out. I want to get in that second. Yeah. It wasn't that bad at all. Yeah. Well, it was about three and a half miles right through the woods. And we would, <laughs> uh, 200 yards. It laid where it's sitting. Part of it. I'm excited. You're I can't excited. wait to show the kids. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm you got him. him out of here. Well, you're going to put him on the side by side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All our kids are. MIA today. All right, and I got a really nice buck here at the house. He's been he's been on my camera several times. Had some of the neighbors have him on their camera. It's the rut, South Mississippi. I'm sitting there, kind of just half paying attention, and about that time I see one coming, probably two or three hundred yards. I see him coming my way. Comes in, makes the turn, starts again. Finally, turn gives me that broadside shot. I just shot probably the biggest deer I've ever killed in South Mississippi. Uh, I've been hunting a big 10 point. Good, great alive. He come walking in. 
finally give me a broadside shot. Good gracious. Yeah. It is January the 20th and we're just now, we're just now seeing rut. I've seen a bunch of deer this morning, seen some chasing. Had a good time hunting this old boy this year. I did. Uh, my wife almost killed him a time or two. That would have been really cool too. She got her first buck this year, which was pretty exciting now. Went by herself to kill one. And this is the 20th of January and the first deer I've killed this year. He's a good Bowie River buck for sure. So anyway, as always, we give God the praise. Old Cruella, got that hawk scope on it. Yeah, yeah. You got that? You got that in there, Mama? Got it. Oh, Cruella, six five Creed Moore, the Hawk Scope. It's cold. It's so cold. I feel really good about this morning. Uh, this deer that we're after came in daylight yesterday at 8:30. Uh, so hopefully, it does the same thing. It has snowed, it you know, which we don't really get a much, much snow where I live at, and it has snowed and got super cold. It was down in the 20s, uh, and, and my shoulder was giving me fits. Uh, I, I don't have the best shoulders from previous injuries, and but I do love bow hunting, and it's bow season's all it was. So, luckily, Matthews makes awesome crossbows, uh, mission crossbows, and and uh, I got was able to get my hands on one, and I head to the woods. Just went back and looked at the footage. And I hit that deer low. I'm gonna give him a long time. Hopefully I clipped a heart or something. I don't know, I'm nervous. I cannot catch a break this year. <laughs> cannot. But I'm gonna get out and call a couple people. Walking. There's the ground blind. My stuff sitting out in front of it. Right over here. That's where it was. We'll walk over here. I'm not gonna go much further. We'll back out. Father Moss gonna come up here with me. I'm still gonna give this deer some time to uh, expire because. I know it's a low shot, and like I said, I aim low because I knew it was spooky. But I almost aimed too low, but we're down at the club. Uh, we're about to go look for this deer. Oh, Got some good guys from Mississippi volunteered to come over here and bring their dogs. Uh, so we're gonna try to make sure, like I said earlier, make sure we get this deer out of here. Nothing gets wasted, but we're gonna go up and uh, see if we can get on them. Stay tuned. I was barking like crazy, so I hope that's good. That one took a minute. 
Boys, we got them. My grandpa said there's nothing good came out of Mississippi. I'm gonna, <laughs> when I get to heaven, I'm gonna tell him, no, nah, you wrong, brother. <laughs> Dogs to the night. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, my boy puppies. Mason right there with dogs and Brent over here. Look at here. Look at here. Yes, sir. Yeah, Ain't no doubt my shameful woman at all, but uh, the heroes of the night. Let's get on them. Mason Dunn, correct? Correct. And Brent Bass. Bass. These boys are from Clarksdale, Mississippi. And we got Lori, the dog, and Gus. Gus. They some bad dogs, let me tell y'all. This deer was pumping blood, pumping blood, and then we ran out of blood and I saw him. We jumped him up and I backed out, called a buddy that works with me, and uh, he said, I know the guys that have got the dogs. And let me tell you something, they got them. Because we didn't find, what, five specks of blood over 300 yards? Not many. I mean, not many at all. I'm talking about just, I was really about ready to throw up, to be honest with you, because I don't like the fact of leaving an animal out. But, uh, man, they found it. When they started barking, I couldn't believe it. But they found it, they worked it, and I can't appreciate these guys enough for driving all the way over here from Clarksville, Mississippi, to come help me tonight. And uh, the good thing about it is he ran all the way back to the road. <laughs> so we ain't got to, we ain't got to drag as far, but... Uh, Mason, come get in here. Come get in here with me. Bring Gus over here. This is it right here. This is the man right here. Mason and Brent's dog, Lord. They did good. This is this is the reason. How old are these dogs? Uh, they'll both be five in February. Five in February. How many how many deer y'all think y'all find? That's number 23, 24 on the year. <laughs> on the year. Holy cow. <laughs> that is crazy. Anyways, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Uh, go check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, give us a subscribe on YouTube. Uh, also, you can find us on the Hunt channel and uh, all your Jackson local uh, channels there. Um, and also go online if you want, if you'd like to purchase a hat or anything to help us uh, provide this content with you. But I appreciate y'all. And uh, once again, the, the Mississippi Boys, that's what their new name is. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed the show. Believe it or not, I'm going to make the show next week. Uh, buck number two. We're going to introduce a great friend of mine, great friend of ours, Mr. Leon Stilly. Y'all will be seeing him next week. Along with Anthony Bourne, it's going to be a great show. So thank y'all for watching. Catch you next week right back here. That turbo son, he has grown up into a man. You got to come here and tell me what happened. I mean, you didn't even let him get out in the plot. You talking about a dandy, Brooke. He is a flipping dandy. No doubt about it. He's big, Brooke. He's big. I'm fixing to walk out there. I'm, I'm probably a full body mount. That's what I'm feeling right now. Till I get out here and put my hands on him, it's definitely a full body mount. Yeah. Hey, one go. Move over, boys. The Alabama girls to come to show you how to get it done. I don't know. I'm just, this deer ain't nowhere near the, even the biggest deer I've killed, but it's just been so tough. Anyways, Mission Crossbow, made by Matthews, is freaking legit. And I tell you what, what's even more legit, I got another hair in here just in case. Hawk's goat. It's got awesome reticles. And Say what you want to say about all sponsorship, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you, don't quit bow hunting because you got shoulders or whatever. And I'm about to revamp because Matthews, it, you know, they're just a smooth draw on bow, so I'm, I'm about to change my setup so I don't have to worry about this. But if something happens and your shoulder's bad or you just don't feel comfortable with the, with the compound, mission, go check them out.